Breaking news out of College Hoops, Xavier is bringing back Sean Miller as its next head coach. That's the latest from our Matt Norlander. The 53-year-old led the Musketeers to four NCAA tournament bids from 04 to 09. Miller was fired at Arizona last spring amid NCAA investigation into the program. He spent 12 seasons in Tucson, winning five Pac-12 titles and guiding the Wildcats to three trips to the Elite Eight. For all the latest, we say hello to our senior college hoops writer, Matt Norlander, host of the Eye on College Basketball podcast and leading the reporting here on this story, Matt. Why Miller? Why now? Well, Xavier fired Travis Steele just a few days ago, and when that happened, by the way, Xavier's still playing in the NIT, mm -hmm. uh, Sean Miller was the immediate top target uh, for Xavier. He obviously has previously coached there, had tremendous success there. It was the Xavier job that pushed him to take the Arizona job more than a decade ago. Now, Sean Miller obviously was fired at Arizona a year ago. He was involved, uh, or at least tied to the, the infamous FBI scandal. He had a former assistant, Book Richardson, who pled guilty to bribery and fraud charges. Uh, and because of that, he has a level one violation still tied to him that has not been resolved. But uh, here's an important thing to note. Uh, Xavier's athletic director, Greg Christopher, has served up until recently on the actual Committee on Infractions for the NCAA. So coincidentally, ironically, however you want to uh, frame it, he has an intimate knowledge of everything that Miller and Arizona have gone through. And so that knowledge combined with everything that Xavier had to do to vet itself internally, go to the NCAA and vet to, to kind of get a, a broad sense of how much punishment Miller could face once he returns to the sport. Clearly, uh, the AD was comfortable making this hire. He knows his job is under tremendous pressure to make the right hire. The fans are going to love this move. Uh, and there's additional context I need to tell you here, Joe. South Carolina, in the past 48 hours, has been aggressively pursuing Sean Miller. And sources told me early on Saturday that Miller had standing offers from both Xavier and South, Air South Carolina. He took a number of hours to decide which one he wanted. Ultimately, Xavier won out for a couple of reasons. He's coached there before. He knows that city, that community well. And you know what? The Big East has a big pull to him. When Xavier was in the Atlantic 10, that's when Miller was there. It has jumped to the Big East since he left. So he will have an opportunity to coach in that conference, and he will return back. And from purely a hiring perspective, I don't believe there is a coach that could be seen as a bigger victory, even with potential punishment coming for Miller next season. I want to be clear on that. For that fan base, which is not accustomed to missing three consecutive NCAA tournaments as it's done, getting Miller is a... Uh, it's as big and as successful of a hire as Xavier fans could have possibly hoped for. Yeah, I do want to double back here on the uh, Big East implications. But before we go there, digging a little deeper here on not only the information, but the protection that Xavier might have in this situation. Do you expect verbiage in that contract that allows them to distance themselves from Miller if he does face personal or professional repercussions stemming from the NCAA investigation? I think unquestionably that has to be uh, part of the, the equation here. We can't say that for sure. We, mm -hmm. don't, we don't know, but it would be, frankly, uh, unacceptable if Xavier didn't protect itself as best as it possibly could going forward. That would be extremely negligent uh, for Xavier, although i got to be honest, this is an intriguing hire and an interesting one from this perspective. Sean Miller wanted back in. He spent the past year, obviously, away from coaching. He wanted to get back in. But who's the party here, Joe, that has more leverage? Is it Xavier and its athletic director, which needed to make a huge hire, right? Mm -hmm. Or is it Miller who wanted to get back into the game? Ultimately, it's Miller because Miller had two standing job offers. If the stuff with Xavier was going to fall through, I believe that Sean Miller would have been the next coach of South Carolina. Because, again, sources reiterated South Carolina pushed hard and made it clear that Miller was its top target. Now that AD, Ray Tanner, he's going to have to search elsewhere. But... I have to believe that Xavier is going to protect itself as best as it can. And, oh, by the way, if you're curious about what kind of punishment awaits Miller next season, I've had sources previously tell me that when his IARP case gets resolved along with Arizona, that should be this fall. It should be. And I think it will be a suspension. I don't think that's avoidable. No one can really say for sure. I would be surprised if we're looking, frankly, at a season-long suspension. I think if that's on the, on the table, uh, then, again, Greg Christopher, the athletic director, isn't making this higher necessarily. I think it might be in the realm of 60 games, maybe 10 games most. You take that, that's fine. If you Because Miller might be taking this job with the mm -hmm. idea of, like, I'm going to come back to Xavier, and then this is it. And this is where I'm going to coach for the rest of my career. So a, a huge, huge, huge day uh, for that program in the city of Cincinnati. I only asked, uh, looking at it sort of through the, the, the lens of Will Wade and the dismissal missile there, uh, seeing that 
with cause, there's nothing owed in, in terms of a severance package. Be interested to see what the structure of this deal is with Miller. But we do have to talk about, as you alluded to, the Big East implications here. Sort of a conference for the taking right now and a program that expects to be the one taking it. But they have regressed a bit to sort of the second tier of the conference, 8-11, and 11, I believe, last year in conference play. How immediately does the Miller edition make them a force on court? Uh, basically immediately here. Uh, Sean Miller's track record at this program and fa- frankly coaching at the highest levels in the Pac-12 with Arizona where he made two Elite Eights. He made an Elite Eight with Xavier as well in addition to a separate year when he made the Sweet 16. Um, Villanova is still the king of the Big East. UConn under Dan Hurley is going to be a factor there and the conference on the whole is averaging 5.3 NCAA tournament bids since it restructured almost a decade ago, Joe. But yes, you get Sean Miller into that conference, I can guarantee you that the other coaches the other programs in that league know that while Xavier has been a good program in recent seasons, it has. It's not like this program has completely just, you know, sank back uh, to levels it had not been at, frankly, in more than four decades. It hasn't been that, but it has not been consistently top three, top four in the league. You get Miller there, and certainly that will change the dynamics immediately. And it also makes the Big East, which is already good and interesting, it makes it even better and more interesting within there because that is a coaching heavyweight returning to Xavier and now, you know, Next season, he will make his debut as a head coach in the Big East. This all coming down as the madness unfolds. We know there's work to be done. Matt Norlander, get to it. Thank you, pal. Thank you. And there's only one place to be for all your college hoops needs. That's with Matt Norlander and Gary Parrish on the Eye on College Basketball podcast. No better time to join the conversation than right now. Download and follow today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.